Hey, what's up everyone? Alex here, back with one more video on SEO application. Today we're going to be talking about SEO puzzles. So I think similar to Othello Quest, uh, there are also puzzles, definitely for sure there's a huge library of puzzles available for uh, play. So how you kind of can access these puzzles within the SEO application is just go to tools on the left, bottom tab, just go to show advanced tools, and you can see there's a start rank game place, there's a study opening, start rank middle game, start rank end game, select a random XOT opening. So let's just click on end game puzzles, which is kind of like the most uh, popular and normal kind of end game. So over here you have uh, the rank. Your rank is currently at 1200 and you can start the test, meaning you can start the puzzle or you can exit the mode. So if you click on start test, it would immediately give you a puzzle, which is an end game puzzle. This is just too empty, so obviously uh, it's fairly simple to count out. And over here you can see this timer that is counting down and blinking and flashing. So you're given basically 60 seconds to solve each puzzle. Uh, and then I think with every successful turn, you'll be able to get, uh, you know, uh, increase in rating over here. So if we count the disk right now at the bottom, uh, 8, 10, 11, uh, 15, 18, 20, 25, 28, 28 uh, plus 6 gives you 34 minus 1, that's 33, 31, so this should be enough. And of course, uh, if you count out the other one, it's uh, plus 7 minus 6, not x is subtractive, so this should be Correct. So once you hit on the move, uh, you basically complete it, and you can see the rating has just gone up from. Oh, uh, let me just go back. To this the rating has just your rating has just gone up from one two hundred to one two zero five, and at the same time, when you click on the correct move, they will show you the star, which is the correct one, and they would in indicate for you the rating. It's minus four and plus two. So basically, um, I've done the correct move, and that's the normal one plus five points. So basically. I can keep on going for the next test. So let's say if I, if I hit on next test, again, over here, there's a two empties puzzle. And of course, as you continue to increase your rank, I think the empties also increase and the complexity of these uh, puzzles also increase. So over here, um, two empties, plus one, minus one, versus a plus six, minus two. Obviously, we go for the plus six, minus two. So over here, I hit on this, and they immediately show the rating of both moves, and I'm correct this time, plus 6, normal, plus 11 points, and my rating has just gone up to 1, 2, 1, 6. So that's uh, for the end game puzzles, and I think uh, most software would have end game puzzles, uh, but Othello Quest also has end game puzzles. And over here, if we just go back to the tools, so let's just exit this for now, and we go back to tools. And we go to advanced tools and let's go to start rank middle games. So over here, this is uh, mid game. So we start the test. So I think this is a bit more interesting because uh, mid game uh, over here, uh, it's white's turn to move. Over here, it says white move and your rank is 1200. And over here, you have 60 seconds again to kind of determine the best move for mid game. So I think for mid game, it's always a bit more subjective, which is kind of interesting to try to find the best move because. Um, for mid game, there are many ways to play it. So it's not like end game that is so rigid that you have to play a certain way in order to win by plus two or the perfect line. So I would say that, you know, um, over here it's White's turn to play. We want to kind of regroup and over here there isn't a nice move to play here. So maybe we'll go to C6 to try to establish C6 to try to get back to F3, regroup. That seems like the most obvious uh, regrouping best move for me. And it's also in the center 16. Let's go with that one. So indeed, it's correct, it's plus four. So it seems like I got the correct move. And now after some running, they will tell you that, hey, you know, um, this is the correct move, you plus three points over here. So you can, again, similar to the end game, you can always hit on next test just to test yourself. But I think, you know, mid game is really interesting to kind of uh, test your, your theory uh, and your understanding of the game. So let's just exit the mid game test first and then we can go to uh, advanced tools again, and you can see the start rank gameplay and select a random XOT opening. If you start rank gameplay, I think it's basically playing an AI of a lower level, so you can also play against an AI. Not exactly sure what exactly is this level set. Uh, it could be based on your default settings, which currently I have it as quite high, but this is you know how you can access the rank gameplay. And obviously, if you win, you'll be able to you know capture more rating and of course work through the ranking. So let me just exit this. Okay, I'm gonna lose the game 640 here. And we'll go to tools again. 
and we're going to show advanced tools. Select a random XOT opening. Uh, so you can choose whether you want a large or small deviation. So let's choose large perhaps. And over here they will show you, hey, XOT large, and this is the opening. And over here it's in free mode. So if it's by default free mode, both players can actually play. Uh, you know, like if you're with a friend, you can just start off a game, it's fine. And if you click on game mode, or you can toggle to library, they will tell you which one is the best uh, move. So you can also uh, evaluate it. So it's within the plus minus two range. XOT is basically a random opening for the first uh, eight moves on both players' side. So um, yeah, basically try it. So I think that's all the modes that I wanted to cover for today. And hopefully uh, this is interesting uh, kind of side features of Sayo application that it might help your, improve your game. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.